What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Haven. And a couple months ago, I posted a video on how to use PlayNet, which is a PC gaming library managing tool. Pretty helpful for everybody who plays a bunch of different games like Origin and Steam and Epic Game Store and all sorts of other different online storefronts that we have to contend with now on the PC platform. However, they asked a question. They wanted to know how exactly can you add Microsoft Story games into this because by default, they are not included. You cannot add them. And it's actually kind of hidden on how you actually can do this. So let me take a couple minutes out of my busy schedule. I'm not really busy, I'm just saying it. To show you how you can actually add Xbox games to Play Night. First and foremost, if you are using the full screen mode, you can't do it. You cannot add games from here. You have to drop down to the desktop mode. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It takes a couple seconds and it will pop up. Okay. Wow, I don't even play this game anymore. First thing you're gonna notice is that on the upper left-hand corner of the screen, there's a joystick icon or gamepad icon. Click Add Game, and there's actually two ways of doing it, but the easiest way is now that they, he added, the, he being the creator of this program, added an easier way, we're gonna do it this way. So go down to Microsoft Store or Xbox App Game. And what happens is once you click on this, it's gonna show you all the applications that are installed on your machine. So once you do that, you can go through and say, hey, I want to I want to just put Forza Horizon 4, Motorsport 7, and Gears of War 5, and Gears of War 4, and, you know, whatever other programs you want this to load as long as they are in the Microsoft Store and they are installed. They have to be installed, like the Outer Worlds. They have to be installed. Not installed? It won't see them. So once you do that, hit Add Games. And you'll see at the top of the screen, it says Downloading Metadata. Now this download the metadata, you can actually scroll down now. I don't know why my games are in ascending when they should be descending, but that's fine. Let's go look for uh, Forza. Forza is going to be around here somewhere. Okay, well, you know what? Here's Gears. Gears 4. And I already had Gears 4 in here and Gears 5, so I have two of them. And I already had a bunch of different... Motorsport 7, so I have a bunch of those. So if you happen to run into this issue, you just right click on them and remove. So there you go. Show you how to add them, and I'm showing you how to remove them. And the really nice thing is, once you do this, and it's already got the metadata, once you click on a game, it has all the information, it tells you what it is, how long you played the game, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is really good information for you. Of course, if you uninstall it or if you delete it, it doesn't it no longer has that specific information so i've lost that for uh forza horizon which is fine because i i played it a very long time i really don't need to know how long i played it so there you go that's how to add games from the microsoft store or xbox store xbox app on your windows 10 pc using play night if you have any questions any comments leave me in the comments below and i will see about getting back to you because you know i'm just so super busy thanks for watching and if you like this video why not subscribe to our little channel? You know, it'll help us grow. And we'll love you so much more for it. Thanks.